my thighs just don't go down from eating. They are so stubborn, they will not go down. There are two things that really changed everything. Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Now this is the Daily Student YouTube channel and if you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe now. Now as you can tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how I slimmed down my thighs. My thighs went from this to this. Just as a disclaimer, I think everyone has different goals in terms of wanting to lose weight and my stomach doesn't tend to gain a lot of weight but my weight goes on my thighs. So that was one of the biggest deals for me that I wanted to start this weight loss journey specifically for that and although we love big thighs on this channel like don't get me wrong but for me I just really wanted to work on that that's one of my like little things so yeah that's why I started I recently did a video on how I lost 20 pounds in one month and if you haven't seen that yet it will be linked down in the description so many people within that video have been asking Kimberly, how do you slim down your thighs? Please tell us everything that you did during this time because I am one of those people where I can literally lose a lot of weight but my thighs are one of the last places that lose weight. And over this time, I have found the key fundamental methods that really slim down my thighs and it actually worked for once because trust me, my thighs are so stubborn. It takes so long. I'm just like, how do so many people slim down their thighs? And I finally have my own hacks that I'm here to share with you guys today. Now, as you guys know, in every single video, we do shout outs. On this channel, we do shout outs. So the shout outs of today's video are these guys. Go show them some love, subscribe to them. They're absolutely amazing and they support my channel so much. And if you want to be in with a chance of winning a shout out, follow these two Instagram pages. Hopefully you will be in the next video's shout out. Without further ado, I'm gonna be talking you through the fundamental ways in which I shrunk down my thighs during my weight loss journey. So first of all, I did start eating healthier. So if you haven't seen that video, I won't go into it too much today, but I really did change my eating. I was eating very clean, a lot healthier. I did a complete 180 on that. My thighs just don't go down from eating. They are so stubborn, they will not go down. But after that, I decided there are two things that I needed to change. And these are the two things that I'm gonna talk you through that really changed everything. The first thing was I actually started doing weight training. And now the misconception is if you do weight training, you're gonna gain loads of muscle, and then you're not gonna get that figure eight figure that you're looking for. You're just gonna be a very muscly person and that's not what you're trying to achieve. And actually, weight training is very difficult to gain muscle. Like for example, I am someone who, it takes me a long time to build up muscle true granted some people do gain muscle a lot easier you just have to gauge on that to put it into perspective like boys or girls who are in the gym trying to gain muscle whether it's arm muscle leg muscle stomach muscle abs anything like that have to increase their protein they have to be in the gym you know significantly more than they'd usually be the protein powder protein shakes protein bars the amount that they invest and go through to even get to that muscly state takes them months and months if not years by incorporating a few you muscle activity to shrink down your legs. Don't worry, it's not gonna make you look hugely bulky. Because that is the common misconception. You have to actually work really hard to even get there. So don't worry about that. You won't end up looking, you know, hugely muscly. I increased my muscle training solely focusing on leg days. I did have rest days, but it was making sure that I implemented the leg days. One of the favorite things, there are two leg programs, if you're wondering what exercises I used, that really changed it for me. The two of these were the Chloe Ting Thigh Leg Shrinking Program. Guys, if you haven't tried that, it's free on YouTube. It's absolutely amazing. So many other people have tried it as well. You wanna have a look on their results, but it is fantastic. And Chloe Ting really hit the nail on the head with this exercise. And I did it religiously for weeks and weeks and weeks. That The second thing was CrossFit. Now CrossFit is so good guys. When you're doing muscle training that specifically isolates one part of the body, allows you to really get that burn, get that pump, get that the weight loss going in that area. And why muscle training is so important, especially throughout the shrinking of my thighs, my weight loss journey, is because muscle burns a fat faster than if you're not doing any weight training. It's important that you're constantly incorporating, you know, workouts, leg training, muscle training, really getting the circulation going within that part because the cells that allow you to have the fat burning cells or more of the fat burning cells need to have continuous circulation going in that area. So if there's a specific area that you want to target, it's important that you're constantly training that area, having rest days, but at least incorporating training within that area. So that's what I did and I was going to CrossFit about three to four times a week and it was fantastic and my legs went down so much faster than had I just done weight loss with eating. They went down so quickly and I saw results within two weeks, but obviously it's depending 
depending on how often you're going or how intense your exercises are, what you're doing. And I can do a video on showing you guys my exercising, my typical leg exercising, full body exercising, so that you have that there whenever you want to go and watch that. I will do one of those videos. My final and fundamental tip that I used for my weight loss off my legs was actually making sure that I'm moving every day. Now, it's so easy to be sat down for 90% of the day or to just not be very active because we think like going shopping, going to the mall or to the shopping centre with our friends is exercise because you're covering loads of steps. But making sure you are really covering those steps. And one of the best ways I did to use this was using trackers. Whether it was an app called Nike Run or just a steps tracker, whether it's on a smartwatch or on your phone, setting yourself a goal for 10,000 steps a day is so achievable and so attainable. Even if you set yourself that three times a week, because what it also does is, yes, you've done the muscle workout, but if you're continuously using that circulation and blood circulation within your legs, that muscle workout that you did is increased to and constantly be working after your exercise and it allows your body to really do that working, do that burning, do that fat burning continuously even weeks or days after. So it also gets you into the practice of feeling more active. I think that that really increases a successful muscle workout or weight loss workout in a specific area and that is what I really found. Just trying to incorporate that will be great and use an app. An app will really Really motivate you so my personal favorite is an app called Nike Run you can track it you can track your progress you can keep up to date you can set goals on there challenges all sorts of things like that so I would 100% recommend that I've been using that app for like for a long long time that is my holy grail so guys if you change those things that those things that are incorporated really changed the entire game for me but guys if you have enjoyed this video do give it a massive thumbs up and if you want to be in a chance of getting next video's shout outs do be following these two Instagram pages below and I'll be checking everyone and do DM me once you're done with that and tell me if you're on a weight loss journey comment it down in the description I love hearing all about your weight loss journeys and what you guys are doing right now within that or if you're starting or thinking of starting let's talk in the description I answer every single comment and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye guys